the second-hand luxury market is growing four times faster than the primary luxury market. Due to surging demand and increasing competition, the resale market is estimated to be worth $33 billion in 2021. Luxury resale has become a booming business fueled by digital platforms like The Real Real, Vestu Collective, and more. Buyers and sellers continue to join those online marketplaces and are attracted by their unique array of products and services. Leading luxury brands are gradually paying attention to this phenomenon and are considering incorporating this business model into their retail strategies. This is a revolution in luxury resale. The involvement of luxury brands is changing the game. This video will present the research findings on the value behind the brand involvement in resale and then propose recommendations. Can luxury brands better control their intellectual property, enhance customer retention, and create exceptional ownership experiences by integrating resale into their retail strategy? That is the thesis question. As the resale space expands, the brands also want to control the customer's journey in the resale areas. More and more brands are joining the resale movement in response to the growing demand for eco-conscious fashion. In recent years, brands such as Gucci, Valentino, Bottega Veneta, Jumbo Gaudier, Oscar de la Renta, and others have launched their own resale platforms. Some brands launch their own resale platforms by curating vintage products, take Gucci Bowl as an example. Other multi-brand luxury retailers like Netapode and Farfetch are also experimenting with resale platforms. Other brands partner with third-party resale platforms to provide consumers with guaranteed pre-owned luxury goods. This thesis uses research only as the framework, and this research will use pragmatism as the appropriate research philosophy to build a solid foundation within the study. The research will use Qualtrics to distribute the survey widely on social media to conduct consumer research. The survey collected 434 responses. The final survey results showed the Generation Z and Millennials accounted for 95.1% of the responses, which are the main target groups of the thesis. For qualitative research, the researcher interviewed brand managers who worked for three of the world's leading luxury groups, LVMH, Caring, and OTP. Those are the three research areas of the thesis. The researcher found that, firstly, luxury brands used to be sensitive to reselling pre-owned goods, but they have acknowledged the shift in consumer perception that today's luxury experiences is no longer tied to the satisfaction of being the first product owner. The controversy about the authenticity of the resale market has always existed, and the launch of the resale channels by luxury brands will help regulate the second-hand luxury market while protecting the brand's intellectual property to a certain extent. Secondly, the participation of luxury brands in resale can enhance consumer retention. By doing this, it can attract new buyers and makes them become potential luxury buyers. Besides, resale provides a channel for a loyal customer to sell items they already own and keep buying products from brands through incentives. Thirdly, whether selling resale products online or in-store, luxury brands must make their buying experiences as pleasant and memorable as possible. Even when selling prey on luxury goods, it is crucial to provide the same services and experiences as a new product, as this is a new channel for brands to communicate their brand message and a key touch point for talking directly to consumers. After researching three areas, the researcher came up with the following findings. 38.1% of respondents had purchased pre-owned luxury goods. Bags and clothing followed by accessories were the most popular category of pre-owned luxury goods. People purchase pre-owned luxury goods for two main reasons. One is to get high quality products for a lower price and improve their quality of life. Second is to buy second-hand luxury goods for archive collection. 59.8% of respondents choose to buy pre-owned luxury goods from brands, which shows its positive prospects for brands involved in resale. Regarding the most important factors for consumers when brands launch resale channels, the factors people choose most are reasonable price, good condition of the product, and authenticity. And the most expected services and experiences from brands are repair services, followed by free shipping and arriving on time. 
and well packaged. Other expected services are consumers can gain store credits to purchase new goods from the brands and blockchain or other technology to ensure authenticity. In the conversations with their managers, they all believe the brand entry offer more autonomy and control. Furthermore, they think the participation of brands will help raise the standards of authenticity across the industry and force those third-party platforms to become more professional and standardized. They also said that from the consumer's point of view, they can retain loyal consumers and attract new consumers. This is an approach to expand the consumer group and increase retention. Finally, the managers said that ensuring authenticity and integrity is essential, followed by the need for brands to provide a unique online or offline experiences and differentiate themselves from other secondhand retailers. Other important added value include more professional product maintenance and repair services that allow products to last longer. After analyzing the findings, the researcher made the following recommendations for brand. Many electric brands refuse to enter the resale area because they don't want to lose their brand DNA. And most importantly, they think product recycling is a complex process. However, collaborating with white label providers is one way to solve this problem. In recent years, many companies have seen that trade-ins offer a huge opportunity to enhance consumer experiences and target a new consumer base. For discerning collectors of iconic pieces, brands can play a role in organizing the resale market more effectively or by offering sought-after items. For those interested in buying only new products, the trade-in experiences can be improved. This is a way to enhance consumer attention. In order to drive more consumers to be informed of the vintage series and interact with consumers, brands can use the way of live streaming. Because of the uniqueness of secondhand products, consumers are not satisfied with just seeing them online and ordering them, but want to see the actual condition of the product. And live streaming provides an avenue to interact with consumers and see the materials and condition of the secondhand product. This is a way to allow viewers to gain a deeper understanding of the history, craftsmanship, or design inspiration behind the resale product. Creating a digital identity could become increasingly important for the fast-growing market for second-hand electric goods. Blockchain can help fast-track the digital authentication process as brands recycle and resell their products and will help make the authentication process easy for human authenticators. Controlling their own resale channels, luxury brands will be able to offer consumers a richer and more authentic brand experiences than any third-party platform. By providing early access to new merchandise and incentivizing trade-ins or other VIP privilege, luxury brands are able to build deeper relationships with consumers, not just transitions. In addition, brands themselves will gain valuable data and insights that will allow them to cultivate more loyal, lifelong consumers. Thus, luxury brands can better control their intellectual property, enhance customer retention, and create exceptional ownership experiences by integrating resale into their retail strategy. Until now, the traditional luxury brands at the top still shade away from the second-hand market. However, the manager of OTB Group further stated that brands with creative and avant-garde images may choose to participate in the resale because their creative directors always lead the brand innovatively. To be sure, brands hold all the keys. They have the talent and technology assets, so there is no reason that they cannot find a suitable model. What is clear is that luxury resale is here to stay. And those brands that choose not to participate may lose the initiative on this topic.